Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create and award badges in Roblox Studio. First, I would just like to say thank you for 200 subscribers because I haven't made a video since we hit that milestone. I'm going to be trying to upload a lot more often now because I have a bit more time. So hopefully I'll be getting more often. I'm, I'm going to aim for a weekly video, so one or two videos a week. That's going to be the goal. But yeah let's get started so first thing you're going to need to do is create a badge so you're going to need to go to your game to see your create page select the game you want to make the badge for click the little gear icon you're then going to need to select create badge note this will cost 100 robux to create a badge for your game so every badge is 100 robux so keep that in mind when making badges and deciding how many badges you want <coughs> First thing you're going to need is a image file. Then you can name your badge. That was just the most recently opened image file. Now you can give this a description. I think I'm spelling badge right. Yeah. Don't even know. Then you can click preview. After clicking preview, it'll give you this and you'll have an option to purchase for 100 Robux. It'll tell you your current Robux and how much you'll have after. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. You're then going to want to click on your badge and copy this, these numbers, this ID out of the URL bar. So once you have those numbers copied, you're going to come back into Roblox. So today I'm going to be showing you how to award a badge when a part is touched however the award badge part of the code is the exact same so first thing you're going to need to do is open, make a script and type script.parent.touched colon connect function hit then you're going to want to say local player is equal to game.players colon get player from character hit.parent now if player then local badge service equals game colon get service badge service then badge service colon award badge player dot user id and then the badge id that we copied earlier so this this bit of code is what gives the badge award so this local badge service you can put anywhere, you can put it up here at the top if you want and have it like that. But if you're awarding a badge in a script, you need badge service in there and then just this bit of code. So anywhere that you can get, so as long as you can access the player's user ID, you just do badge service colon award badge player dot user ID comma then the ID of the badge you want to award. Now if we play test, this should work. Come over here and step on this. We already gave out badge ID to user ID. So that's just saying that I already have the badge since it's a badge I created. Um, I can delete the badge. Feel that I can't delete the badge, but that means it works. It should work for you because we're just saying we already gave out badge ID to user ID. So it's just not working for me because I already have said badge. So if you wanted to do the same thing, so say you had like a little area and you wanted to say when the player accessed the area, give them the badge for unlocking, getting to the new area. You could just put transparency one, can collide off, make it like an invisible wall, then when the player touches it, they'll get the badge. But that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and um, comment down below any video suggestions because that's the main reason for me not uploading is me just not having any ideas for videos so if you have any ideas for development related or gameplay related videos put them in the comments make sure to like subscribe and share this video with all your friends and i'll see you on the next one